What if your blinkers go out? Does your steering wheel keep locking up? Now today we're getting answers to your car questions. Welcome back, Peter Fink of Certified Transmission. Good to see you, Peter. Hey, Good to see I'm ready you. to go. All well, right. Ashley's going to kick things off for us this morning. She says, lately in my 2010 Kia Sportage, my left and right blinkers have begun to shut off by themselves only after a few cycles of blinking. The problem seems to be getting worse. Is this something I can fix myself? You know, I think it's a possibility, okay? On this particular one, older cars used what they called a flasher, and it was a little square box that plugged in and had like three or four prongs in it. You could buy it at a parts store for five, ten dollars something like that. The Kia still uses that, okay? So again, a little bit lower cost car, they still use that. New cars use a body control module, which is be five, six, seven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. okay, if it was going bad. But this one should be a flasher. It'd be under, uh, it'd be underneath the kick panel on the driver's side. You remove that kick panel, it looks like a little square silver box. I would say it's definitely worth trying to replace for the 10 bucks. Yeah, okay, 10 so. bucks, yeah, try to give that yeah, a shot yeah. first. I happens. would definitely say so, without a doubt. If it ain't that, it's probably the turn signal mechanism itself up mm -hmm. there, but it's probably the flasher. Easy, I, almost, I like that. Yeah. Easy, right? like yeah. that. 10 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Let's get to this next one. Michael says, the stick shift feels loose in my 1994 F-150. Is there? Some little part in the lever itself that could be to blame, or is it a bigger problem? Well, I'm assuming we're talking that this is a five speed, four speed, six speed on the floor, probably a five speed, okay. Uh, and the shifter linkage did have some plastic bushings in them, okay, and stuff. Now it's kind of internal to trans in the transmission. What I mean is you got to take the shifter off. There's usually four or six bolts on the top side, and there's a plastic bushing inside there that definitely could wear out, mm -hmm. okay, and stuff. So without a doubt, it'd be worth checking. Now, uh, a little tougher to do than the flasher deal right, that we right. just talked about. But if you get it to one of our shops, they could surely check it out. Mm -hmm. I'll waive the checkout fee on mm -hmm. it, okay? And they can give you an estimate possibly of what it is. But truthfully, we won't know till you take it apart and see if it actually is. Right. So that's the catch, okay? I know we can guesstimate and give you what it would be if it is that, but yeah. if it isn't, then it could be more you without gotta, a doubt. You gotta look at it though, and I hope Michael was watching yes. because you said bring it in and you'll yeah. diagnose knows it for free. Right, right. right. Hopefully he go. was. Uh, this one I can actually relate to. So this is kind of a question that I have as well. Uh, Jackie wants to know, the steering wheel on my 2011 Honda CRV often gets locked in place, not allowing me to start my car. It happens randomly about once every other month, but I have to wiggle it around for quite some time for it to unlock. Why does this happen and how can it be avoided? Now I got to say, this happened to me when I started this job. I think I was 10 minutes late yeah. to work so, because it locked. So you got to wiggle the key or the, uh, the steering Well, that was going to be my question, but chances are I've had this happen to my own car. Mm -hmm. It happens to my wife's car. I mean, what usually happens is you you pull up against um, one of the stops in a parking yeah. stall, okay, mm -hmm. and you get your wheels turned a little bit mm -hmm. from being turned in there. Yeah. And then what happens is that uh, you turn it off, and then it keeps pressure yeah. on mm -hmm. because your wheels are turned, uh -huh. okay, and it's cocking the steering wheel. So now when you go to try to turn the key, it won't. So you have to relieve the pressure on the steering yeah. wheel, okay? So it's usually you wiggle the steering wheel. If you usually pull it down or pull it up, okay, then you can turn the key. There's really no problem. The mm -hmm. problem is you didn't have the wheel straight and you're really up against that stop and it's putting pressure there on the steering mechanism and the steering box mm -hmm. and everything and that holding it, okay? So it's best it to... even did it on my wife's brand new 16 uh, uh, Lexus, okay? Yeah. She parked that way and I did it and I'm going, wow! So it ain't something that's wore out, okay? Right. And stuff. It's nothing to worry about. It's just kind of, we get in a hurry, we parked a little bit too far forward and the steering yeah, wheel so locked. so it's best to park with your wheels straight, straight forward and not in against line. that stop. Okay, that makes sense because I'm yeah. thinking when so I've done that, I've probably pulled it, in like is, that. Is that yep. an anti-theft feature? Is that why that locks? Well, the the yes, the lock is for that they can't yeah, steal so the car. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and stuff without a doubt. Of course, now they got way more securities. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, than just mm -hmm. the steering wheel. But yeah, they that steering wheel lock's been around since the '70s or whatever, and it can happen on any car. Okay, yeah. and stuff so without mm -hmm. a doubt. All makes sense. CertifiedTransmission.com. Five area locations right here in the metro. Peter, thanks for coming in on this Monday. 
Uh, we got a few more days left. Because you're, you're a Husker fan, too. We'll see where the season oh, takes yeah. us, Oh, right? yeah. Well, I think we kind of – there's a lot of, ran, uh, you know, rumors out there flying around. There they sure Obviously, we're not happy with their season, you know, yeah. and stuff. And, you know, feel bad for the players, okay, and yeah. stuff, you know, and different God, things. You know? I mean, us as uh, 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 fans don't like it either, but – Right. Whatever. It's I mean, tough. It is what yep. it is. We'll yeah. see what happens. Thanks for coming in, Peter. All we right. Really do Thank appreciate you. It. <laughs> well, and